Hey guys, it's Pam Plays Games. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, once again, we're still in Halam Sheral, trying to get through this place as quick as we can. Even though I keep dithering about what I want to do, which is just so much fun to watch, I'm sure. Um, we were going to finish... Gosh, the shadows <laughs> made by the fire are really kind of cool. Um, a little eerie, but mostly cool. So yeah, I'm going to keep losing court approval while I'm in here. But I have to get through this place. So now I have dirt on um, Briala. What happened here? There's another hollow. So now I can go get, open that door and let out that guy who was um, apparently um, imprisoned. But we still also have to find out what happened to, uh, we still have to go to talk to that captain of the guard that Florian told us about. We're not going to have any more time to uh, deliver those uh, scandalous secrets, that, by the way. That is um, a done deal at this point. So this is the Empress's private quarters, and, um... Yeah. <laughs> this poor fellow. What happened? It's not what it looks like. Uh-huh. Honestly, I would have preferred it if it were what it looks like. <laughs> Empress led me to believe I would be rewarded for betraying the Grand Duke. This was not what I hoped for. You're telling me that Empress Selene left you naked and trussed like a roast duck? Please, I beg you, don't tell Gaspard. The Empress beguiled me into giving her information about plans for troop movements in the palace tonight. She knows everything. Everything. The Duke's surprise attack has been countered before it ever began. She's turned it into a trap. The moment he strikes, she'll have him arrested for treason. I don't know which is worse. Celine for using such a tactic or him for falling for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elysians. <laughs> Tempting I'll to leave him there, but Gaspard, if you're willing to testify about Celine's trap, I'll do anything, anything. <laughs> I really shouldn't be doing this, but I'm eating a pop tart because I'm starving. Well, that was uh, or lesion. <laughs> you can say that again. I love how they just, you know. Left his helm on. What is it? You can keep your hat on? Or keep something like that? Anyway. Yeah, I'm just... Needed to eat. Oh, and yes. Even more dead servants. Of all sorts now. Well, that sounded familiar. You painted on lazy and assholes. When I get out of this, I'll push you like the pigs you are. And that's the guard captain, dude. Um, one more holler for the road. I hate when I see it and I still can't pick it up. I'm like, that's not okay. Oh my gosh, even court ladies now apparently are being randomly slaughtered. And there's something in here. Oh, this is uh, the other way. There's two gardens, I think. Yeah. Well, hello. Inquisitor, what Rift. a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my baits. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. 
It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Cillian's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. Please. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united Not world. my maker. Guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your Orlesian royalty? Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. Mm -hmm. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. Sure. At this point, I'd think disappointment was an old friend. You poor deluded thing. You don't know half of what Samson and I have planned. And now I suppose you never will. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill him and bring me his marked hand. It will make a fine gift for the master. Break and a rupture. Nice. Yeah, so obviously now we know who um, brought the Tevinter assassins that we've been killing all night. Okay. Um, a quick dispel from Dorian. You know, because we, we've had so long. Oh, darn it. He just used it. Oh, well. Um, we've been going so long without dealing with demons. It would have been nice to have one minute. Although, actually, the demons are kind of preferable to everything else we have to deal with right now. God damn it. I just want to kill one thing. Is that too much to ask? There we go. Yeah, so obviously this was a, uh, um, this was all set up by her. Uh, trust those tits. What was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? No more demons. It's safe. Maker? I've never seen one that close before. I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me the fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. You honestly believe you were captured, tied up, and thrown into a death trap because of a bill? When you put it like that, it seems a bit odd. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlais. Sticky, fancy cheesemonger. Want a new job? One that pays better? The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress, or the court, or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Having that underworld knowledge does make for some nice opportunities. Okay, so we got him. Um, we now have evidence against Florian. Um, and we got an agent out of it, too, so... Let's see. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go from here. There's... I think there... 
Yeah, there's like this little church. Yeah. A little chapel. With some more Taventers, because, you know... I don't know how I can fight this guy over a few, but, you know... Whatever, is that all of them? Okay. I can also loot through the pew, which is nice. An air shock battle axe. Huh. Seems like something bull should have. <sighs> Alright. No, don't, you don't have to follow my every single movement, you guys. Um, yes, obviously this is where they come and pray. So now we know everything that's going on. Um, we have all the evidence we need. I do wish I had found, gone back to the, the vault, but as it is, I'm not even going to have enough hollow to do the one last thing. Um, there's a... yeah. There's a couple of doors here. Yay, chaos. I do love some chaos. You won't be on fire for much longer, don't worry. See? Now you're dead. Is there still... Shit. I always do that. Alright, I think that is everyone. And yes, I'm still losing approval. More on the compendium of Orlesian Theater. Um, from Death in the Mansion. So you can quite find quite a bit there. That's where we came from. There's a little bit of loot in here. Gosh, this music can chill any time now. An Anbar Cutter. Electric. Um, I have one statuette. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I can't get in either of these doors. Which sucks, but, you know, what are you going to do? God, this music is still like... Oh, there we go, finally. Dude, you must chill. And this is going to take us back. Uh, oh, this is the other garden. So... What the heck? Oh. <laughs> Hearing Varric's mines going again. There's another area that I never even saw. There's, there's, there's one area that I completely missed in here. I don't know how I did it, but somehow I did. Um... All right, we're gonna change. You know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave my leave this on before I go back in. This is gonna be. Oh, actually, no. I'm sorry. I do have one more confrontation. We can only hope Celine prevails tonight. Guess pas. will begin her speech what should we do now at this point um, you can either let Florian kill uh, Celine but I'm gonna do this one I think wait here Cullen. I'm gonna have a word with the Grand Duchess what there's no time the Empress will begin her speech any moment they're gonna want to hear this Oh, I changed. <laughs> Inquisitor. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, 
I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Selene, Gaspard, the entire Council of Heralds, all your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining, but you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspard, you cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspard? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private. Elsewhere. Now, you can choose to save Your sister Selene. attempted regicide Never. in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you, you knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all seeing, or that you're trying so hard to play innocent and failing. Enough. We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Your captain tells me you spent all night sneaking mercenaries into the palace, Gaspard. You intended to attack. And where did your troops come from, Inquisitor? If sneaking men into the palace is damning, then we are both damned. I have the instructions you sent your general to sneak men into the palace in preparation for an attack. It was a defensive choice. I expected betrayal here, just not by my own sister. By all means, continue to protest your innocence, Gaspar. We find this performance endlessly fascinating. I think I chose the wrong thing, but oh well. His own mercenary captain will confirm that Gaspard brought hired thugs into the palace for an attack. Mercenaries? So much for your chevalier honor, cousin. And of course, he made death threats to the Council of Heralds. Thank you, Inquisitor. There can be no doubt of your treason, Gaspar. No, it seems there cannot. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. You have enough proof to dissolve his support for the throne, Your Majesty. You don't need to take his life. As a favor to you, Inquisitor, I will let him live. Gaspar, you are hereby banished from the Empire on pain of death. Is that all? You're too kind, Celine. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life. And Orle owes you its future. Yeah, I did that wrong. Oh well. Um, you have done a service shoot. for the Empire never to be forgotten, my friend. This piece is your doing. You truly are the instrument of Andraste. I am not. Orle will never forget your part in this. Nor will I. Lords and ladies of the court, the civil war which has plagued us is at an end. The Orlesian Empire is whole again. Those who drove us into war for selfish gain have been dealt with as traitors. Gaspard de Chalon is guilty of treason. He is no longer our cousin and shall never again hold title or land in Orle. We have lost enough. No more! Now, we can move forward to healing and restoration. In our hour of need, the Inquisition has faced these dangers beside us. It is the honor of Orlé 
to stand with Andraste's herald to end this crisis. And in ages to come, our children and grandchildren can say that we left them a brighter world. Will you address the court, my friend? Ending the war was the first step. A final goal must be peace for all Thetas. Well said, Inquisitor. We of the court must use our resources. Not every battle is won on the field. But that is tomorrow. Tonight, feast, my friends. Enjoy our victory. There will be many more to come. The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. I would have stayed, but the punch ran dry. Scandalous. <laughs> Indeed. Let us see if you take this piece of news as poorly. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Selene wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, Thus, it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. There was an ancient dowager looking for you. Said she had 12 daughters. I told her you'd left already. You can thank me later or now. Do you look lost a little? Something on your mind? I'm just worn out. Tonight has been... very long. <laughs> you won. You saved the day. Literally, the day is saved. You should be celebrating. Enjoy yourself while you can. What you need is a distraction. I have just the thing. Let's dance. I was hoping you'd ask. Thank goodness one of us has a little initiative. <laughs> and that's the Winter Palace. Um, I missed out on a whole um, final confrontation with um, Florian. If you choose to save Celine, but then you want to deal with Florian yourself, uh, what ends up happening is Florian reveals her true colors and basically runs out the door and is like, you know, come get me. And then you fight her in the front, um, yeah, that front courtyard where we first came in. And it's, you know, it's not a, it's a, it's a somewhat difficult fight. It's not terrible, but um, you get a nice bow out of it. But uh, I kind of like making a laughing stock of her in front of everybody because it seals her reputation just as well and I'm just mad that I, I didn't look at my options when I chose the final thing because it was like if you there's there's a way to do it and I probably should have looked everything up to double check before I actually went into Holomshrel in the first place but there's a way to force Selene, Gas Gaspard, and Briella all into alignment and they they like jointly rule or lay um 
but you know whatever the main thing is Celine isn't dead um, and I would have preferred to have Briella as part of things too but you know I just I didn't I didn't uh, make the best choices but I also didn't find all the holla um, I didn't get into the the vault upstairs so I didn't find the locket you know I just I did a lot of things wrong there but that's the thing with Hall I'm you can never do all of it so you just have to do the best you can and ultimately I'm happy with the outcome I'm just babbling because I'm tired of having this black screen we're being sent back to Skyhold by the way um, which you would think since I already had the loading screen that it would be you know it would be coming up any second now but we also load into a cutscene um, because now that we have all that influence from the matter Olay, is urgent lady Josephine I am well aware of that revered mother we will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. Oh, me? Please, may I have a word with you? It's always something. Just when you've solved one crisis, another springs up to take its place. I am sorry to place this burden on your shoulders. But you are the only one who can help. With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Fadas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Are the Grand Clerics truly unable to elect a divine? Everyone with the political support to succeed Justinia perished alongside her. Those who remain are unable to gather the majority of votes from the conclave of Grand Clerics. They have been deadlocked for too long. Lady Liliana and Sika Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. These aren't just any two people. They're key members of the Inquisition. For the sake of Thedas, we must ask you to make this sacrifice. This will have to be settled later. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, Revered Mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. And that was Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to leave this episode here because now I have to go and talk to everybody since we've completed a major story point. And we're back in Skyhold, thank goodness. <laughs> and I hit 19, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... I have some stuff to sell and things like that, so... Uh, we're going to leave this episode here, and hopefully I'll get to see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks as always. Bye.